everyone and welcome back to the Convocation Center alongside Lee Glenn, Craig Corbin, and the Nighthawk Sports Network team. The final game in the two-day Southeast Region crossover event and what uh, some uh, was had great basketball both days some very close games and a great uh, way to get the season kicked off North Georgia winning yesterday a little bit tighter than what we thought might be the case after the first 10 minutes of the wall game but an opportunity today to go up against an old foe no longer in the Peach Belt. Yeah, former, <coughs> excuse me, former Peach Belt Conference uh, rivalry in Young Harris, but um, they have jumped over to Conference Carolinas, so they're representing that league in this event. Uh, as you alluded to, game six of six here in the Convocation Center, three yesterday, three today. Uh, this is a great one to end on. You know, um, we've had, uh, there's been no blowouts in the, in the first five games. There hasn't been one game that has been decided early. Everything went well past the final media timeout. And um, I would imagine that because of the um, uh, familiarity of these two teams and the closeness in uh, our geographical closeness of the two campuses, um, and now the fact that we don't get to, we get to see each other one time a year, I would imagine that this one will fall right in order with the other five games. No doubt about it. Young Harris yesterday falling to Georgia Southwestern, 78 60, uh, to 65. Of note, though, number 13, Colby Ash, 18 points to lead the way for Young Harris, a perfect 7 of 7 from the floor, a perfect 2 of 2 beyond the arc, and 2 of 2 at the line. Yeah, he's actually a local kid from up uh, in that neck of the woods just over the, uh, just over the state line uh, there, went off his first year and played at Palm Beach Atlantic, transferred back to Young Harris, and... Um, uh, not very tall in stature and uh, not very loud vocally, but man, is he a complete uh, little point guard that uh, is a whole lot of fun to watch. For the Nighthawks, three players in double figures in the game yesterday. The victory, 65-56 over North Greenville, led by A.J. White, 17 points, three of six being on the arc, and Frank Champion with 16. Eric Jones, 11 points and seven boards in that season opener for the Nighthawks. Today, it'll be the Mountain Lions of Young Harris under head coach Jeremy Currier. Their starters today, number three, Eden Davis, a junior out of Dover, Delaware, by way of Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Morgan Rashid, number five. Number 13, the aforementioned Colby Ash. Number 25, Nate Dunlop. And number 35, Carl Cleveland. And that rounding out the starting five for the Mountain Lions of Young Harris under head coach Jeremy Currier. They come in today at 0 and 1. For the Nighthawks under head coach Dan Evans, it was uh, quite a thriller down the stretch yesterday as they knocked off the Crusaders of North Greenville. Final score there, 65 to 56. Had run out to a big 18 point advantage in the first half. Looked as though that could have been the first blowout of this crossover, but uh, hats off to the Crusaders battling back in the second half. Yeah, definitely scheduled or definitely looked like it was going to be a runaway. Probably one of the most uh, efficient um, first two media breaks that uh, offensively that North Georgia has had in a very long time. So we knew that the productivity needle was going to sway back towards uh, a little bit of normalcy and we still finished well ahead statistically on the box score as it relates to offensive efficiencies. But um, man, it was a fast start and uh, it was basically impossible to keep up with that fast start. But where we were stable for the entire, for the duration of the game was over the entire 40 minutes was on the defensive end. Um, until a couple of late second half turnovers and some marginally average shots, uh, shot selections on our end, it was really hard for North Greenville to get clean offense on their rim. Starters in today's ball game, it'll be A.J. White, number one, number five, Frank Champion, number 10, Hunter Sheddenhelm, number 22, Eric Jones, and number 24, Caden Charles. The Nighthawks coached by Dan Evans and assisted by Adam Blake and Ben Casanova. They come in at 1-0, and oh, and again in their home white here. It is nice to be able to have a pair of games at home to start 
any season. Yeah, because they're going to go on a uh, significant road trip after um, these first two home openers. I know that they uh, travel a good bit over Thanksgiving break and um, probably not. I don't believe they return here until, um, if my memory serves me correct, I don't have the uh, schedule pulled up in front of me. It's about to load here. Yeah, they're not back here until uh, November the 29th for wow. uh, fifth graders day out. There you go. And we're underway. Nighthawks with the opening tip. Glad you've joined us here on the Nighthawk Sports Network. Opening possession here from the Convocation Center. Out front, Shedden Helm gets it over to White down low. That jumper from Jones is good from 17 feet. Looks like we were trying to run a back screen on the first uh, possession and wasn't there. Young Harris was prepared for that. Uh, Eric caught it in the post, faced up, and then uh, hit the nice little 15-foot jumper. Three-point attempt from the wing by Cleveland off the mark, and the Nighthawks with the ball again. White pulls the trigger quickly and hits a three from the left side. I love the fact that uh, both possessions, the shot clock has not got under 15, yep. right? Uh, ju just your offensive mindset changes when the shot clock gets skinny. In the lane, the shot up and gets the friendly roll and give that bucket to Eden Davis. 5-2 your score in favor of North Georgia. It took a while yesterday for the shot clock to come into to play. Champion at the elbow. Now Sheddenhelm. Thought about it, tried to get it inside and threw it away. Here come the Mountain Lions, trailing by three. They're just 90 seconds into the first half here in Dahlonega. Dunlop gets it away to Rashid. Dunlop at the foul line, nothing doing there. Davis drives, loses the handle. Nighthawks have it again. Champ in the lob, too much for Jones. And a turnover on two consecutive trips down the floor. Down low, the shot altered by Sheddenhelm. Nice defense. White on the wing. Now Charles away to Sheddenhelm. Nice ball movement there, shot clock to 10. White zips it over wide open. Caden Charles could not hit. Nice paint touch from A.J. White there, two feet. Pulled the weak side defender all the way into the paint. Easy kick out. That's a shot that uh, we're going to make at a high percentage. So uh, no points on the possession, but uh, exactly the type of offense we're looking for. Mountain Lions with possession, long three, off the mark, no good from Dunlop, but an offensive board on the long rebound. Taken away, though, by Caden Charles on the break. Sheddenhelm, the feed to champion, up and in. That's, that was a much more fundamental transition offense there. Last possession, or last time we had transition offense, we tried to throw a, a cute lob up that bounced off the backboard, and you could just see Coach Evans' expression there that we want you can't have offensive transition where we don't get a shot on the rim, especially when you've got an advantage. And uh, here we go again with Frank in uh, transition on the bounce and guarded by their point guard. They bring the double and you still can't stop him. He is a man on a mission. Two straight baskets for champion. It's 9-2. We got 16-20 to go here in the first half. Almost impossible to match up in transition to slow the ball down when your five man has to be the one that absorbs the initial primary ball handler. Spinning move there, shot off the mark from Davis. Dunlop battles for the loose ball. Nighthawks are gonna get it. That is great effort, great effort. That will probably not show up on the box score because he didn't get the defensive rebound, but the effort of Caden Charles to just continue to battle until we had ownership of it. Uh, man, that's a uh, that's like you want to get in the box score and give the man like three rebounds for that. Sheddenhelm trying to take it in for the slam. 
fouled in the process. That stops the clock at 15.33. The Nighthawks on top, 9-2, to should have a stoppage in play. And we do. With your score, North Georgia 9 and Young Harris 2. Let's take a break. This is the Nighthawk Sports Network. Considering a career change? Ready to lead in healthcare? Be a nurse in 15 months with our accelerated Bachelors of Nursing track. Learn more at ung.edu forward slash ABSN. Shop, play, and stay in Dahlonega, the heart of the North Georgia Mountains. The Mountain Lions have come back on the floor. Nighthawks just breaking their huddle. 15.33 to go here in the first half of play. Shedenhelm will go to the line. Tough thing to do is shoot free throws out of a media timeout. Yeah. They're a little bit longer than a normal timeout, so it's a lot of sitting. Did not get the roll there. Shedenhelm out of Pickerington, Ohio. We'll have one more and gets it. So a 10 to two lead here for North Georgia. Young Harris with the ball. That shot off the glass will go and give that to the man from Belgrade, Serbia, Milojevic. Wow, well done. Junior by way of South Georgia Tech. That was a tough two by that young man. Very tough. I'm going to leave the uh, pronunciations <laughs> to you. <laughs> Number two. The 6'9 Serbian. 6'9 <laughs> Serbian right there got caught <laughs> in the restricted arc trying to guard Frank and <laughs> really had nothing left to do other than pull down on his shoulder because I think any time Frank touches it that deep, it's going to be a basket. Baseline out here, new, new looking, uh, not a new looking, but a uh, little bit of a unique setup for us. Sutton Smith lobs it in to Sheddenhelm. 10-4, your score. Long three, the left wing, no good. Rebound taken by Young Harris. Clock rolls, 14 and a half minutes. Milojevic drives the lane, shot is up, no good. Tried to get his own rebound. Had a foul called on the play. Nice shot fake and drive there to the right. Would have been a really tough two, but you know, what's one thing that you gotta tip your hat to the mountain lions there is we do not give up a lot of offensive rebounds and uh, force us to rotate on the, uh, anytime you can force a team to rotate, then you kind of lose your direct offense or direct defensive rebounding responsibilities. And um, right there, we're able to get a second possession and uh, get it up on the rim and get, get the foul call. Also in the ball game for Young Harris, Cole Deptula, number 20. Second foul shot will go for G. Let's see, now I'll have to go to my alternate roster because Young Harris has about 20 players on their roster. 
Not enough room on my scorecard. <laughs> Nighthawks with the ball up 10 5. Ball knocked away. Nighthawks will retain possession. <clears throat> this will be interesting there. We saw the knockaway came on an immediate double. So they're doubling the pass. So doubling it when the ball's in the air to Frank. Frank just subbed out for Case, but um, that's an interesting strategy. Roach feeds Turner, contact, no whistle. And Young Harris comes away with it. Teran Thompson, number four for Young Harris, the name I was looking for a moment ago. And that's gonna be an offensive foul. Not a whole lot of surprise there. Cleveland just put a shoulder down and is called for the foul. Yeah, the same, that's the, you know, that's obviously on the scout, but that same move uh, have, was earlier against Caden Charles, I believe, and that's a good job of Case being attentive on the bench, knowing that on that second dribble is when the shoulder comes. Smith picks up his dribble, now Charles with the ball. Caden to the baseline, drives underneath. Thirteen twenty-four to go, first half. Smith, and the hook shot by Big C, Colin Turner. Yesterday he was deft with the left hand, right there, the nice little baby hook with the right hand. Um, anytime a big of his nature can play over both shoulders, that, uh, that's normally gonna end well offensively. Turner 6'9", but very athletic. Clock stop, Roach will check out. Or beg your pardon, no, he will inbound. We've got uh, Chase Champion, Colin Turner, Caden Charles. Now, Turner will check out in favor of Mr. Jones. Normally you don't like to Take a player out right after a, a, a motivating basket like that, but yep. that is strictly based on lineups right, right. there. And uh, he'll be headed right back in soon. Smith on the left side, drives to the paint, stops, turns, feeds Roach for the slam. <laughs> Nicely done. It's that corner cut that you like to see on baseline penetration. Whistle stops the clock with 12.32 to go. First half. 14-5, that would be the largest lead of the day. Cleveland right there got foul call. Really going after that tough two. Watch out here, we got a breakaway. Chase Champion nearly got it to go, hit hard, but it'll pop right back up and he'll head to the line. That foul on Cole Deptula. Sophomore from Middleton, Wisconsin, by way of Santa Fe College. Gainesville, Gainesville Florida, Santa Fe. It's, um, I was saying about um, Cleveland there, um, he can score in bunches but a lot of his offense come after he has set the tendency with the jump shot. And he hadn't made a three yet. Right. So you gotta watch out when he makes that first three, then his shot fake and his drive becomes a little bit more potent. But when he's driving early, you just wanna play him straight up and wall him up there and not reach like we did to bail him out there. But um, Carl Champion's best offense comes when it starts with a jump shot first and makes you be honest now from the perimeter. 10 point lead for the Nighthawks. 12, 12 to go until halftime and that's gonna be an over and back. 
And that tenacious North Georgia defense is paying off. Yeah. Right there, you see we're kind of doing a really good job of stunting defensively. Short little short corner drive there to the baseline. It didn't require us to rotate. And then we were in position to cover up. That kick of that pass is really good after you've made the defense rotate. And then that the be even better pass is the one extra. But, um, you know, we're, we're just stunting really well and not having to rotate um, and just being really good on top of the ball defensively as well. Eden Davis came up with a steal. Mountain Lions with the ball, treading by 10, shot in the lane, no good. Rebound by Mr. Jones. Long three, A.J. White. <laughs> How far behind the line was he? Uh, he was closer to the NG than he was to the three-point line. <laughs> and with that, we'll take a break. 11.38 to go first half. North Georgia 18, Young Harris 5. This is the Nighthawk Sports Network. The second three-pointer on the afternoon for A.J. White has made the lead 13. 11.38 to go here in the first half. And uh, I don't think A.J. has any hesitation to pull the trigger. No, he does not. At any point across half court. Drive and the shot off the mark, out of bounds and over to North Georgia. That was a tough chance there for Morgan Rashid. Gentleman from Milan, Italy. Yeah, we had to, did a good job of getting in the gap, making him lower the basketball on dribble penetration, and then to take the ball from down around your knees to go up and finishing it in traffic is a really, it makes a layup. You see that, you think that, I mean, he missed a close shot. That boy, Chase. Chase Champion, a three from the corner. You think he missed a shot around the rim, but he really didn't. You know, we forced him into a tough two. He grows to 16. Thompson drives, had it blocked by Caden Charles. This is going to be good offense here. Champion zips it to his brother Chase, cross court. Now Jones thought about it, drives the lane, stops, turns, 10 footer up, good! You see who stopped the defense, the ball handler in defensive transition? their point guard, number three. And so he's having to stop Frank Champion in offensive transition, and it just gets us into a, gets them into a bad matchup from the get-go. 23 to five. The Nighthawks hitting on all cylinders here early, midway through the first half, and a missed shot from point blank range. First shot he's missed all weekend. Yep. Off balance was Frank, and a foul on the floor stops the clock with 9.51. Again, Frank in offensive transition, 
Uh, not the matchup that they wanted, right. so they just kind of put hands on him and knew that I, as you alluded to, they've got a long bench. That's just a foul I can give better than letting him get on uh, the rim against a player where he's got a significant advantage against. Charles feeds champion on the baseline. The lob intended for Jones knocked away and another foul called. There's the quick double team on the pass from Young Harris. And they had not quite rotated to help the helper yet. So where the double team came from was where the, Eric was wide open and that's why they had to foul from behind. So doubly, doubling the post is a science. It takes five guys, right? It can't just be the two guys that go to the basketball. It's got to also be the guys that are helping the people that are going to the double. And Young Harris gave us easy free throw opportunities there by being laid on the double. That's the seventh team foul on the Mountain Lions here in the first half. 9.30 to go in the first half. Double team and a foul called and that will go against Eric Jones. Now, I think they're going to give that to Caden on the dig down. Yep. Okay. Right? So Jones was doing a great job of using his chest, had his palms up above his shoulders. Caden tried to dig it out just a little too hard and got some forearm. But they are definitely making uh, him work really hard on his touches. Shot clock at 10. Long three from Davis off the mark. Here come the Nighthawks. White zips it up ahead. A pack to Caden Charles. <coughs> Caden Charles left-handed layup in transition is not something the young Harris faithful like to see because that was the kryptonite last year in the game here. Got the stop. He actually challenged the jump shot here and bled out. Um, very comfortable finish there. That was an unbelievable shot contest. A 15-0 run stopped there on the bucket. A young man, Colby Ash. Twenty-five to seven. Yeah, way down low. Goodness gracious! You can't be that late. Five supposed to come on the double. He, they need to. They either need to get out of it or commit to it. But doubling way late like that is going to give Frank way too much time to score. Dunlop gets rid of it to Rashid. Ball knocked away. Nighthawks have it. In transition, Champion draws contact, stops the clock with exactly eight minutes to go. And yeah, that'll be an official timeout. Your score, North Georgia 27, Young Harris 7. This is the Nighthawk Sports Network. Back in a moment. Northeast Georgia Health System is a proud supporter of North Georgia Nighthawk Athletics. A 15-0 run has given the Nighthawks a 20-point advantage. And if there was any question as to whether or not the Nighthawks have the ability to score inside and out, that's been erased here early on. Man, you talk about generating offense through defensive stops man they are getting stop after stop after stop and there's just you know, there's some bad misses from young harris because of the dedicated shot challenges that have just been careening off the rim headed towards it's just our defense is setting us up for
for offensive success. At the line, Frank Champion is seventh point of the day. Second one does not get a friendly bounce. It stays 28 to seven. Shot would not fall for Cole Deptula. Second personal now on Charles. And Deptula goes to the line. Sophomore from Middleton, Wisconsin. And makes the first. Milivojevic back in. And that gives a breather to Dunlop. Second one now for Deptula. No good, rebound champion. Smith guarded by Ash, works to the right side. Roach feeds champion, double teamed. Zips the pass to Sheddenhelm in the lane. Shot contested, Hunter gets his own rebound. Open, White, three-pointer would not fall. Ball tip, Roach tried to slap it off the backboard to himself and nearly did. That's good, uh, that's good uh, IQ there. Not gonna come away with a direct offensive rebound, but. Corner three is short, weak side rebound to champion. And Sheddenhelm and Milojevic on the floor. Champion gets that one to go and the foul. They got nothing for that right there. I can't begin to imagine how difficult it would be to guard a player of Frank's size, athleticism, speed, I, I and mean, desire. If you could just go back and look up what is our offensive productivity when he gets a defensive rebound right. and eliminates the outlet to the point guard and he just ignites the offensive transition towards our basket. High percentage. High percentage. 10 points on the day now for Frank. And a well-deserved breather. 31-8 your score. Ash on the baseline, zips it over. Ball movement, Deptula. Milivojevic right. down low. Nice little dump off pocket pass there from Young Harris. And it's been a long time since they had a field goal. Took them 13 and a half minutes to get into double digits. 31-10, fall away jumper, White high off the iron, no good. Rebound snared by Rashid. Over to Deptula, right side, fakes. Nice defense there by Smith. Drive, shot would not go for Rashid. He'll head to the line, 5.57 to go. First half. Jones ready to check back in in just a moment. And Case Roach getting a breather. Rashid getting both foul shots to go. AJ now looks to the right, instead dribbles to the left, stops, away to Jones. Oh. Had, had him on the roll there. Yep. Colin Turner now at the elbow, away to Smith. 
in the lane. Beautiful! Slam dunk by Turner. Yeah, they had that the first time and did a good job of just kind of letting your offense continue to run and getting it on the second side there. Second bucket for Collin. 33-12. Davis drives in the lane. Turnaround jumper left short and a late whistle. That'll be on Smith. Eden Davis, junior from Dover, Delaware. Started his college career at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. And speaking of Texas A&M, need a new football coach now. Be a new football coach. Just a little bit of a buyout. Say, uh, to be making a lot of money sitting on a beach. 75 million. Oh, wow. That's that gear that AJ Smith. Yep. He only uses every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> wow. Wide open, Thompson misses. Shedden helm the rebound. Just amazing to see players with that kind of speed and that kind of range. He's just, he's just, oh, he's hard to guard too. Largest lead of the day, 38-12 your score, 4.33 to play, we'll take a timeout. You're watching the Nighthawk Sports Network. Greatness. Greatness is defined as striving to succeed. It is giving everything you have to achieve your goals. It's not defined by the numbers of games you lose, the numbers of shots you miss, but it's the risk in failing that will define your greatness. You earn it by showing up early, by pushing yourself every day, by working harder than everyone else. And when you've reached that point of giving up, you don't. Most people are good, others are great. Find your greatness. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want with NCAA.com, the home of college sports. And we are back to action. Young Harris with the ball trailing 38-12. Backdoor cut in the bucket will go for Thompson. Nice out of timeout set there by Coach Courier and staff. That was not a read, that was a called set. You know, travel will give it right back to Young Harris. Turnover at the 4 11 mark here in the first half. Four oh four to go. Until halftime, Cleveland double team, nothing there. Around the horn to Ash, drives back to Deptula, long three is good. Smith drives to the foul line, ball knocked free, turnover, and actually. Turnover to a turnover. Yeah, Nighthawks are going to get it right back because Cleveland could not get the ball to a teammate before landing out of bounds. And, and we've got a timeout, 3.35 to go in the first half. Your score, North Georgia 38, Young Harris 17. Back in a moment on the Nighthawk Sports Network. Considering a career change? Ready to lead in healthcare? Be a nurse in 15 months with our accelerated Bachelors of Nursing track. Learn more at ung.edu forward slash ABSN.
shop, play, and stay in Dahlonega, the heart of the North Georgia Mountain. Just to about three and a half minutes left here until halftime. Nighthawks back on the floor. Champion Jones Smith. Actually, we have both champions. Champion brothers were That's set right. to come in at the horn. Frank and Chase, along with Sheddenhelm, Jones, and Smith. Sutton lobs it into Frank over to Hunter. Hunter to Chase. Shot clock at 10, down low. Champion has been unstoppable today. Yeah, that's a that's a matchup we're gonna win. Eight days a week right there. Yep. 40 to 17. Bucket and a foul. That will send Matija to the line. Milivojevic. Colin Turner back in the ball game, a breather for champion. Foul shot on the money. Clock rolls, 3.03 to go, first half. Ball tipped away by Deptula. Nice job getting back on defense. Foul called. Thought that might have been a clean block. I don't think the foul, did the foul get called on um, Eric? Or did the foul get called on Chase? And it may well have been on Chase. Deptula missing the first. Sutton is out. AJ White back in. One more coming for Deptula. And no good. Stays 40 to 20, 244 to go. First half. Drive to the elbow, right side. White left that one short. Loose ball, scramble. And that'll be a foul on Turner. Battling for the rebound. Colby Ash, a former Hayesville Yellow Jacket. Yep. And as we mentioned in the opener, went down to Palm Beach for a year. That foul shot good. That would be a change of pace from Western North Carolina. Down to West Palm. Yeah. Back to the Great Smokies. Foothills of the Smokies. That's it. Got them both. Came back to God's country. Two twenty-two to go in the ball game. Forty to twenty-two, North Georgia. The champion will check back in, and Turner cycles out. Cleveland. Rashid nowhere to go, gets it away. Gets it right back and over to Deptula. Shot clock at 10. Boy, out of control was Rashid. Quickly on the break, champion to champion. And AJ back near midcourt to reset.
Alley-oop, and the slam dunk on the back door cut by Eric Jones. Not so sure that wasn't the set that they were trying to get to on the last offensive possession when Big C got called for the illegal ball screen. Nicely done. Deptula to Dunlop. Ash in the corner to Deptula, high off the iron, no good. Rebound Sheddenhelm. 1-11 to go, first half, 20 point lead for the Nighthawks. Their largest advantage in the first half, 38 to 12. White down Main Street. Oh, what a move, and the basket would not fall. Oh, they need to get that he, net uh, down. Yeah, he, <laughs> he euroed around. Ash might have gotten away with a push off. Missed the shot, Shedden Helm, the long Oh, and Frank got up in the air <laughs> and lost control. <laughs> I'm not, I don't understand that. Couldn't he have just shot it? I thought. Yeah. <laughs> he was happy though. So <laughs> he knew what he had done, so whatever it was, it was illegal. <laughs> Final 30 seconds of the opening half. Dunlop turns, shoots off balance from 10 feet and gets the roll. What could be the last possession of the first half? Nighthawks will take the last shot with Nate. Now six. White drives off balance shot, no good. Stops the clock with 3.1. I think all in all, the Nighthawks coaching staff would have to be pleased with yeah. the effort here in the first. There came that offensive lull again. I yeah. mean, we start out so efficient, you know, but we still stayed, um, you know, there hasn't been those egregious turnovers that have led to easy young Harris offense. I mean, just think about the last bucket there by 25, man. Yep. It took him a bunch of dribbles and a shot in traffic that bounced around home. We take those all day long. Right. AJ got the first, we'll have one more. And that again makes it a 20 point ball game, 44-24. Three point one left. Inbound comes to Ash, guarded by Smith. The off balance shot will not go, and that's your first half. All Night Hawks in the first twenty. Forty four to twenty four. We'll take a break and be back. This is the Night Hawks Sports Network. We treasure our history. We treasure our waterfalls. We treasure our wine. But most of all, we treasure our guests. treasure our community and we're an experience for you to discover 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 the heart of the georgia mountains the heart of the georgia mountains discover the heart of the georgia mountains the mountains are open My name is Lana Titarina, and UNG is where I lead.
I chose UNG because of the tennis program and how much the tennis program has achieved in the past. Um, and I wanted to be a part of building um, a good team. Um, but also the campus is very beautiful, the location. It has the new business building that I really like. And when I did my research, I really liked Dahlonega in Georgia. Uh, so one of the biggest challenges that I faced was coming here and not knowing anyone. Uh, I didn't know how the culture was and how to really approach people. Um, and being new and not knowing anyone is, can be tough in the beginning. Um, so you have to really put yourself out there and make connections, talk to people. Um, so that's where I feel like I've grown a lot and I've gotten to know a lot of people here and that has helped my experience. Uh, my advice for international students um, would be just go for it. Um, it may be tough in the beginning, but it's all going to be worth it at the end. Uh, you're going to meet amazing people. Um, it's really fun and you get a very good degree. Since 2007, we've seen an explosion in popularity of superhero movies in the last decade. Rainer argues that superhero films offer an escape from the boredom many of us feel with our lives. We love the epic. We want epic lives. There's a tension you're going to face as you celebrate, walk out of this door, and you go to Monday and you say, what's next? And more importantly, how do I live a superhero life? John Gordon, he's a best-selling author on leadership. This is what he says, there's a myth about success, graduates. I'm gonna paraphrase a little bit. One that says it's all about you, but here's the truth. You're not a real success unless you're helping others be successful. That's the greatest self-growth strategy of all time. The more you help others grow and improve, you grow and improve. Focus on others, it's not about you. And you'll find something even greater than success. Graduates, you'll find significance. But remember, in all of this, there's a tension. How do I live a superhero life? Enter the epic by being bold. Your family, your community, our state, and our nation are all counting on you. Graduates, today we celebrate you. We celebrate your hard work. We celebrate your diligence. We celebrate your commitment. And I am so incredibly proud of you. It takes more than intelligence and talent to succeed in life. It takes grit and a commitment to excellence. It takes the willingness to serve others and a cause greater than yourself. It requires you to push boundaries, ask difficult questions, and understand the world around you. It requires you to know your strengths and weaknesses, and have the desire to make yourself better than you were yesterday. It requires you to be independent, efficient, and tolerant. Ultimately, it requires you to be a leader. At the University of North Georgia, we develop leaders. Leaders who serve our country abroad to tackle the challenges of the world. And leaders who serve at home to improve our way of life. Leaders who never quit. Leaders who lead by example and not exception. Leaders who are tough, but fair. Leaders who are relentless and passionate. Leaders who solve problems and don't make excuses. Leaders who do the right thing, even when no one's looking. There's nothing average about the University of North Georgia and its core of cadets. If you've got what it takes, then bring it. You can't really get an idea of how another country runs their military till you go abroad. 
It was cool to see their outlook on just life in general. To be there as a global ambassador is definitely a life-changing experience. I participated in the Management College National Defense University Cadet Exchange. That is located in Taipei, Taiwan. So I participated in study abroad internship in the country of Georgia. The program I participated in was the Swiss Summer Mountaineering course. The experience was extremely professional. There were people from different militaries across the world. I was training with soldiers that were once our adversaries. I just want to notice an important of diplomatic relations and also civil affairs through the military. The host school was always really going out of their way to help us get the full cultural experience because we were, in their eyes, only going to be there for five months. They drove us out and we hiked to a glacier. That was unique, especially coming from Tennessee. There's no ice walls to climb. Their native language of Georgian was very difficult. However, at the end, I gave a little speech in Georgian thanking their academy. It was an eye-opening experience. One thing I learned in Switzerland was to try and enjoy everything that you're doing, no matter how challenging it is. Being able to see the country of your target language in person and really living day to day can move your passion to continue learning the language that much further. All the conferences, all the internship and all the exchange programs will help you as you develop, not just as a soldier, but also as a person. I think everybody in the course should study abroad because it will develop them so much. If you have a free semester, it's the perfect time to explore a country. There's really not much holding you back in terms of whether or not you should go. It's a great experience. I got extremely valuable training and just an overall incredible life experience that I wouldn't have gotten going to any other school. And it was the opportunity of a lifetime. My wife's family is full of medical professionals, including lots of nurses. The more they talk to me about nursing, the more I realize there are so many different opportunities within the field of nursing. You can constantly continue growing, continue learning, um, which was something that really drew me to it. I was really attracted to the accelerated program at UNG for a couple reasons. One, I heard that UNG, like everything I've heard about UNG's nursing program is incredible. I have a couple friends who have been through it in recent years um, and had just spoke very highly of it. Just everything I've seen online um, spoken about it, it's just a very reputable program. So UNG was already a pretty clear choice for me. Um, and then seeing, seeing the opportunity to do an accelerated program it was kind of a no-brainer. Honestly, I get to graduate earlier, and one of the things that appealed to me the most, actually, was that most of our clinical rotations are at Northeast Georgia Medical Center. I am really thankful for the faculty that are specifically dedicated to the ABSN program here. This faculty, they really want to see us succeed in this program and be the best nurses we can possibly be. At the half, it's North Georgia by 20 over Young Harris. Here at the Convocation Center, alongside Lee Glenn, Craig Corbin, the Nighthawk Sports Network staff. The final game in this 2023 Southeast Region crossover. And uh, the Nighthawks looking to put a nice uh, bow on this two days worth of basketball. Yeah, we've got off to a great start here. Just taking a quick glance at the box score. Out rebounding Young Harris by seven. Um, have only allowed two offensive rebounds. Uh, assisted on eight of our 17 baskets. 22 points in the paint. A lot of good, but led by 13 points from A.J. White on three of four from long range. And Frank Champion is a perfect five for five from the floor. The two of them have combined to outscore Young Harris by one. Just the two of them. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good combination right there. Um, you alluded to it um, a couple of times, but certainly in the final couple of minutes of the opening half, the intense and consistent defensive pressure that North Georgia imposes on their opponents, it just wears them down. Yeah, forcing Young Harris into just 11% from behind the three-point line and 32% overall. You know, you're not going to win many basketball games when you shoot 32%. Um, a lot of that's not bad shooting or bad offense necessarily on Young Harris's part as much as it is defensively we are making them uncomfortable even even their shots around the rim they've got to kind of alter their shot to get it off clean they um, 
you can, and you've seen, I've seen Coach Evans a couple times, like make substitutions, you know, up 20 plus points, make substitutions based on missed defensive assignments because that talks about how much defending is a priority for this team. And uh, they've got a science to it. They like to defend a certain way. They don't junk you. They don't play any zone. They just guard you. And um, they know when to help. They know technically how to keep the basketball in front of them. And they're very good at challenging shots and then finishing possessions with defensive rebounds. You know, it's, it's always something that you, you talk about, that defense is the core of any successful team. And, and obviously, Everyone is bought into that mindset there's on no, this roster. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know, they, they they are five guys connected on a string guarding the basketball. They don't guard a man. They guard the basketball. Uh, they know their assignments. They know um, what their rotations are against certain actions. But um, Young Harris just hasn't been able even to get into much action, to be honest right. with you, because we're doing a really good job of being physical on top of the basketball and just not you just don't see comfort where young Harris calls a set and it's pass pass cut pass pass it's always we're, we're, we're doing a good job of what's called holding them up and so when they, they got the catch where I want it to go maybe from A to B to C but on B I'm doing a good job of holding it up and not letting it on rhythm go to C you know if you can equate it to like NFL football you know or college football for that matter even too, you know that when the quarterback has a drop, a, um, a well, when he drops and he throws it what they call on schedule, that the likelihood of that being positive is, um, is, is high. Right. But when there's that drop back and you see that read one, read two, and then one or two steps before they throw, you've taken them off schedule and you've held them up. And um, that's what we're doing defensively to uh, the Mountain Lion offense tonight. Yeah, you talked about the offensive uh, performance. White with 13, Frank Champion with 12, and then six points on the night for Mr. Jones, four each for Chase Champion. Colin Turner, two points apiece for Case Roach and Caden Charles, and Hunter Sheddenhelm with a point to his credit thus far. Uh, that's a player that quite honestly, uh, you get him cranked up and he can uh, can add yeah. a lot of points pretty quickly. He can shoot threes with yeah. the best of them. Yeah. That one point obviously came on the back end of a offensive rebound that he got, tried to stick it back. No, a drive where he drove really aggressively, right. looked like he was even gonna dunk it, got fouled, missed the front end, made the second. But you know, he's a guy kind of like I was talking about with, um, the uh, Cleveland kid from Young Harris, you know, when he makes his first jump shot from range, it only uh, increases how um, how um, how influential he can be on the offensive end because now you've got to really honor and get out and challenge hard on the jump shot and and both players, both um, um, Cleveland and um, Sheddenhelm are both very. Um, adept drivers as well when they need to be. And I'm certain that even though the Nighthawks have a 20 point advantage that the coaching staff will have said, we're starting this second half dead even. And that's the same thing Young Harris is gonna say too. Yeah. You know, because you know, you, how much were we up on North Greenville last night at one point? 18 points. And so same thing, yeah. right? And so it wasn't long ago that uh, North Georgia had let, and had let a lead evaporate rather yeah. quickly. Yeah. So. Um, well, they just got to, if Young Harris wants to get back in this basketball game, which I believe that they will, um, they've got to win this first media timeout. All right. And we're underway. Glad you've joined us tonight for Nighthawk basketball from the Convocation Center here on the UNG campus. Mountain Lions with the opening possession. The drive and the kick. Corner three, up, no good. Rebound to Jones. That was a miss from Rashid. First possession of the second half for North Georgia. White, nice shot. That's the same back cut, cut choreographed play that Young Harris got us on out of the timeout. Um, and uh, a lot of teams are running it just the uh, 
uh, design cut out of the corner. And uh, good to see North Georgia get them with the same action. Cleveland gets it away to Davis. The drive shot up and good and a foul. That sends Davis to the line. And completes the three-point play. Sheddenhelm. Now Jones at the elbow finally takes the shot and hits it. Good to see that go down. A just a little disruptive defense or uh, disconnected offensive possession. The ball didn't move very much there, and took a, it took EJ a couple jab steps to be able to get the space to even get it off. Um, and a good looking shot when he takes it. Now tries a three. This one no good. Ash. Ash did a great job of a cut back dribble there. Got into the defense and cut back into his right hand, basically eliminating the shot blocker. That is uh, heads up basketball from the young man there from just over the state line. 48-29, Nighthawks on top with the ball. White. Works to the lane, zips it over to Charles, fakes the three, drives, puts it up, left hand, good, just beats the shot clock. I, I didn't know that the shot clock was getting skinny like that. It was funny, it was fun watching the ball move there <laughs> yes. um, and keeping them rotating and trying to cover. Mountain lines with the ball, Ash had daylight and makes him pay. Yeah, and right there, AJ kind of saw a, saw an opportunity to dig back on a ball handler that had uh, turned his head and just really couldn't rotate back to uh, to Ash there at that point. <laughs> Clock stop, 16:47. Chase champion in for Caden Charles. Ash gets a breather, as does Davis for Young Harris. Deptula in the ball game, along with Thompson. Lob comes to White, zips it over to Sheddenhelm, three-pointer on the way, rattles it home! Uh-oh, don't let him get loose. So that's if he gets loose from the three, that's one less person that you can dig down on and get in the paint whenever Frank and AJ start. Frank on his post touches and AJ on his drives. Drive by Thompson, Euro step, shot is good. It's a good basketball move there. So many people think that the Euro step is a travel, but by letter of the law, it's as clean as it comes. I liken it in track and field to the, the mechanics of a triple jump. Yeah, that's a very good analogy right there. And both, the triple jump mechanics and the Eurostep to me are very disjointed. Yeah, it's like a knee injury waiting to happen. Exactly. Uh -oh. Triple teamed his champion and they're gonna call a jump ball. Boy, he was in the midst of the mountain lions and may have gotten poked in the eye in the process. White bounce pass, Sheddenham over it goes to Jones, drives, baseline, nothing there, zips it now back to AJ. Three would not go. Dunlop will bring it up. Over to Thompson, 
Now Cleveland, three left side, no good. Offensive board and the basket for Carl Cleveland. Fifty-three thirty-five. Fifteen thirty-five to go. AJ seventeen footer, no good. Frank got a hand on the ball, scramble, and Young Harris comes away with it. Thompson works into the lane. High off the glass, no good. Loose ball, scramble, and again. An offensive board for the Mountain Lions. Dunlop does a good job of keeping balls active and making rim runs. Underneath, basket again for Cleveland, 53-37. A 6-0 run for Young Harris. Chase Champion reverses his dribble now away to Jones. Shedden Helm in the corner. Frank double teamed to Jones, has daylight, puts it in. So if he had caught that clean, caught it down on his knees, they double team Frank again, and uh, he's such a poised passer out of the double team. His pass wasn't necessarily clean, and had uh, he caught that clean, he was gonna do a chin up on the rim yep. like this. Yep, underneath in contact. You could just sense it. I saw it in transition, <laughs> I thought. <laughs> like Coach Evans said, we've 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 missed on about three lobs already this right, year. Right. Coach Evans has probably said, let's yeah. let's cut that out, and that's what we need right there. Time out on the floor, 14-10 to go in the ball game. It's North Georgia 55, Young Harris 37. Back in a moment on the Nighthawk Sports Network. prepared physically, but you have to be pre prepared mentally as well. And I'm sure that's been a big part of what they've done yeah. here in the early part of the, the yeah. season. Early season road trips are kind of bonding to a team. Right. You know, it's a great right. opportunity to have a shared experience with your teammates. Um, they'll run up to uh, UVA Wise next weekend before a quick turnaround on the week of Thanksgiving and traveling to Tusculum. And then they finish their good stop there. They finish the road trip. I'll come back to this in a minute because Frank's in uh, offensive transition. <laughs> Something's good is about to happen. Behind the back dribble by the big guy. Now the pass knocked away. And, uh, and then after those two single road games still uh, before they get home, go down and play in Florida Southern's Thanksgiving Classic where they'll play the host Mox and St. Leo. Nice. Three from the wing, Sheddenhelm no good. Rebound over the top by Milojevic. Thirteen thirty to go in the ball game. Fifty-six thirty-seven. Davis drives, nothing there. Back to Thompson. Shot underneath, good. Nice use by Thompson of his body there to shield against uh, Mr. Roach on the dribble penetration and finish. Chase to Case, back to Chase, down low to his brother Frank, up in and good, and the foul. That's actually, 
a tough pass to throw the lob over the top because you can't gauge how quick the defensive help can can close that gap. Right. So you got to kind of put something on it, but you got to give it enough air to get it over the, the post defender that's fronting. Um, that's a really uh, depth. You got to have a lot of touch to make that pass and uh, just enough there to get it to Frank. And he b brought the ball down, um, but was able to use his strength to get it back up through the contact and uh, attempt at an old fashioned three point play here. Very deft distribution of that ball. And rattles that in. Frank gets a breather. Colin Turner back in. 59-39. It's less than 13 minutes to go here. Drive by Cleveland in the basket. Nice drive there, but I think he's still yet to make a uh, three-pointer. Shot from the corner, no good. Young Harris with the rebound. And on the break. Top of the key, wide open three. This one off the mark, no good. Rebound to Roach. Here come the Nighthawks. Quickly, Smith pushing it ahead, and they'll wait. Pass intended for Turner, comes up with it. In, tra in uh, heavy traffic there, draws contact, and he'll head to the line. We got lucky there. Yeah. Case uh, saw Big C in the high-low action and just kind of telegraphed it and threw it right through the defender's hand. Luckily, Big C was able to gather it and turn and get a shot up on the rim that pulled, drew the foul, but... That was uh, not the cleanest possession there offensively for North Georgia. Yeah. Colin will be at the line for two. First one good. And the second as well. Sixty-one forty-one. Twelve oh five left to go here. And contact foul on Turner, and that will send Milivojevic to the line. Matija makes the first. And the second. Charles back out to Smith. Now Turner at the high post. Turner lost the handle, had it taken away by Davis. Here come the Mountain Lions. Elevates from the foul line, it hits. Davis does a great job of when our bigs put it down, of just being there and pestering right. the power dribble. Smith, now to Turner, leaves it for Chase, over to Caden Charles, backs in. Tough shot, no good, but a foul called, and that'll send him to the line. But not before the under 12 media timeout. 11.15 to go in this ball game. It's North Georgia 61, Young Harris 45, back in a moment on the Nighthawk Sports Network.
Northeast Georgia Health System is a proud supporter of North Georgia Nighthawk Athletics. Eleven fifteen to go here in this one. 61-45. Of course, some earlier today, Georgia College and State University knocking off North Greenville 69-66. And in the second game, Georgia Southwestern getting past Limestone 80 to 73. So the Peach Belt in position to sweep all of their games in this two-day region crossover. Caden Charles getting the roll there. Foul shot good. Great to be able to host this event in such a, a great venue for all these teams to come and enjoy. Played North Greenville hosted it last year. Not sure where it's headed next year, but right. the way everybody around here feels, we're probably a little happy that it won't be here. <laughs> well, the days are long, and especially when you've got other sporting events going on. No doubt. Women's here on soccer campus. team battled their way to the Peach Belt Conference Championship game after winning the regular season. He's got good touch. Nice touch there by Turner. Like the fourth shot this weekend. Time I taken with 10.36 to go. Is it a 30? It is, so we'll keep up. Oh, gonna make it a full. So with a 20 point advantage for the Nighthawks, we'll step aside for a moment on the Nighthawk Sports Network. Considering a career change? Ready to lead in healthcare? Be a nurse in 15 months with our accelerated Bachelors of Nursing track. Learn more at ung.edu forward slash ABSN. Shop, play, and stay in Dahlonega, the heart of the North Georgia Mountain. Nighthawks breaking their huddle. Mountain Lions already out there. 10.36 to go here to wrap up six games in two days. You, you made mention of it a moment ago, the, the staff responsible for hosting an event like this. Alley-oop on the inbound, way too easy for Thompson. But hats off to the many people involved behind the scenes. Yeah, it uh, takes an army. And we've got a good one here. Support a lot of 13 really successful and good teams. White drives, floats, and hits. Nice little uh, baseline outplay. Young Harris ran out of the timeout. Uh, well, that was a thing of beauty. Big time lob. Goodness gracious. Morgan Rashid just falling all over the place. He drives hard. Put, it, put his head down and yeah. was going to, the, going to the paint. He makes his mind up whenever he <laughs> going to try to get a paint touch. So you wind up there in Young Harris, starting in Milan, Italy, by way of Prairie State College. That's quite the adventure. Take away by Champion, nicely done. Bounce pass for AJ. And he walked. 
Goodness. Looks like Frank <laughs> did a great job uh, stunting on the dribble penetration, put his hand right in the lane there, poked away the steal, but almost gave it to AJ like two steps too early. Right. Like AJ would need it to have to catch it and dribble it and finish it. Found himself in between dribbles. Yeah. Well, the Nighthawks have exceeded their offensive production from last night. Mm -hmm. okay. Having put 65 on the board against North Greenville. Three-pointer in and out, no good for Cleveland. Sheddenhelm, left side, that one was off the mark. Nine minutes to go. Rashid off the glass, no good. Champion, <laughs> another double-double. Another transition. Stops at the elbow. Now they'll set it up. Jones out front, back to Hunter. Down low to Frank. Double teamed. Turns, whips the pass out front. Charles open is Sheddenhelm. Hunter would not go. Goodness. Wide open, uncontested three speaks to the poise that Nighthawks play out of, out of the double team. Wonderful ball movement in the last five seconds of that possession. Blocked by Sheddenhelm. Caden Charles, A.J. White. Now you talked about it by way of that extra gear. As the clock has stopped with the foul. Yeah, he's just a blur when he is going at full, full speed. Yeah, and he seldomly uses the gear. Right. Ash gets a breather. Back in is Davis. That one rejected, and it will be media timeout. 7.55 to go in the ball game. Nighthawks on top by 22. This is the Nighthawks Sports Network. There's less than eight minutes to go here in this matchup. Used to be part of that Battle of Blood Mountain. Used to be, yeah. Yep. When Young Harris was part of the Peach Belt, but no more on to a brand new conference affiliation. That one off the mark from Deptula. A 
AJ near midcourt, closely checked by Davis. Frank drives, now the pass to Caden Charles. Beautiful move! I've been impressed on those moves from the yeah. left corner that he's made to the basket. Another pass out of the double by Frank and just got them out of sorts rotationally. Bucket here would equal their largest lead of the night. Shot clock at six, Shedden Helm. Now drives, has room, yes! Back to a 26 point lead. Shot from the corner, off the mark, no good. Tipped offensive. Board for Young Harris, second chance this trip down. Neptula, three is good. Got to be so really good in the gap against number three on dribble penetration because he's such a quick penetrator. Uh, just right there, couldn't recover back to the three-point shooter quick enough. Backdoor cut and another basket for Caden Charles. That was a nice pass. Yeah, it was off the dribble, one-handed snap pass. 75 to 50, 5.50 to go in the ball game. Dunlop, nothing there. Now Rashid down low, wouldn't go. Champion, another board. On the break, three on three, and contact, that'll be a foul on Davis. That might be the smartest play. Yeah. He's gonna get to shoot, obviously, so it's not good in that regard, but. You keep a, a near certain field goal off the board. Dunlop, Rashid, and Davis check out. Milia Voljevic checks in, as does Thompson, as does Ash. A little too much on that one. Cleveland and around the horn. Deptula in the paint, taken away. What nice defense, but they get it back and score. Chase Champion just took that out of Deptula's hands. Yeah, he unfortunately was kind of falling out of bounds when he got a hold of it and had to just throw it back into play. 5.05 to go. 75-52. Alley oop! There we go, Mr. Jones. And a timeout taken, 4.51 to play. Is this a 30? It is a 30, so we'll keep it right here. Well, we haven't had our obligatory chat about college football. Now we are in the thick of the. I would not want to venture to guess who the final four are going to be at this point. Well, feel better about the Bulldogs after last night's performance. Yeah, I mean, I feel good about their pathway, but I mean, basically, it all is going to come down to the SEC championship game. However, if they go in unbeaten into that game, there is certainly a pathway to go in as a second SEC team. You think so? And have two one-loss teams. Because hmm. either Ohio State or Michigan is gonna- Has to take a loss. Exactly. And then either Oregon or Washington. Yeah. Cleveland hitting the ground. And quite honestly, even though Washington got past Oregon, yeah. A lot of people think Oregon right now might be a better team. Huh. 
But you feel good about a uh, <coughs> if their dogs are undefeated in Atlanta that they're in? Would I feel good about their chances? Yeah. Absolutely. Hmm. I think they're a different team than they were a month ago. Yeah, they're getting healthy. Tennessee still scares me at night in Knoxville. Yeah, although they looked atrocious yesterday. Missouri's good. Yeah. 77-54. It'll be fun regardless. No doubt. Turner at the high post. The feed, double teamed is Turner. Caden Charles, three pointer. What was online, just a little shy and oh. nearly got it back. A little disjointed finish there, 409 left. But it will be interesting to see the Ohio Michigan matchup uh, with. The Wolverines playing with a huge chip on their shoulders. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> when bad things happen does to he, good people. Does he get the uh, coach in the championship game or yes, is it just regular season? Just, yeah. the, just the last three regular seasons games. When bad things happen to good people. <laughs> colleague of mine that's an Ohio State fan made that observation tongue in cheek. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about the whole uh, one loss scenario. I thought that we that there were too many undefeated teams at this point. And it could still happen. Yeah. Smith three pointer in and out no good. Tell you a bit tight end combination of Bowers and McConkey for the dogs. A lob over to Cleveland. And then the strength of the running game. Yeah, they're getting healthy for oh sure. Oh boy. Time out of the floor, 323 to go. It's 7756. North Georgia on top. Back in a moment on the Nighthawk Sports Network. Greatness. Greatness is defined as striving to succeed. It is giving everything you have to achieve your goals. It's not defined by the numbers of games you lose, the numbers of shots you miss, but it's the risk in failing that will define your greatness. You earn it by showing up early, by pushing yourself every day, by working harder than everyone else. And when you've reached that point of giving up, you don't. Most people are good. Others are great. Find your greatness. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want with NCAA.com, the home of college sports. Good day here in Dahlonega for the Nighthawks. They have continued their defensive prowess and offensively, I think most observers would say that uh, they were hitting on a few more cylinders today at the offensive end. Yeah, and I even think that their defensive needle was leaning a little bit more to the right, which Got us going with some easy transition baskets early. Which yep. Okay, well, we've made it really hard on this young man tonight, yep. Mr. Cleveland, to get loose. The two foul shots make it 77-58. 3.20 to go. Smith guarded by Ash. Ch 
Champion backs in, throws it up and draws contact. That foul on Deptula. And that'll be his last. And he'll be replaced by Davis. Frank settles in. Nicely done. I love you, champion! <laughs> and a sentiment that you probably heard from the crowd that a lot of us share. We do love Frank Champion. <laughs> he has really become such a favorite, as you see the bucket there by Davis. Seventy nine to sixty. Two and a half to go. This will be a season that tests the metal of the Nighthawks and a turnover there because even though, you know, looking at Augusta, Aiken, two teams that were at the top of the league last year, even with a huge roster overhaul at Augusta, you can anticipate that they will be right in the thick of things. No doubt about it. We, and it speaks to the testament of the depth of this league this weekend even, you know. Uh, th those are two of the top three teams in the league with North Georgia, who was narrowly voted to finish first. Yeah. But um, us and Georgia College and Southwestern were here this weekend and didn't didn't lose a basketball game. Yep. Seventy nine, sixty three. White gets it across half court. Two minutes to go. AJ thought about it, instead away to Frank on the left side, zips it to Hunter, wide open for three, would not fall. Just a little off the mark. And a twisted ankle maybe for Thompson. Limps to the end of the bench. Thompson's a young man that Really springy there, had the uh, nice baseline out, or the baseline yes. out, the uh, set lob. Yes. Hope he's okay. Cleveland in traffic, hook shot gets the roll. The final tally will be tighter than what the game, I believe, was. Lob over the top. Champion in traffic, beautiful. 81-65, a minute to play. Dunlop has it swatted away. He had actually done a good job of pivoting into position for an easy basket. You just see that there's not much that comes easy around our rim by any means. Yep. Lob well, out to Cleveland at midcourt. Nighthawks as Cleveland rolls that one in. We'll start the season 2-0 and oh before hitting the road. We'll have a chance this week to see the UNG women 
in action. Next weekend, we'll host the four-team classic. Yep. Final seconds of the ball game. White will get up a baseline jumper and hit it. 83-67. Loose ball, and that's going to do it. Oh, and that could be a twisted ankle for Milja Bojevic. And that is your contest. Final score, North Georgia 83, Young Harris 67. The Nighthawks start the year 2-0 with wins over North Greenville and Young Harris. Final thoughts about tonight's game? I thought that, uh, that our defense was even better than it was the first night. And uh, we uh, did a great job of scout, understanding strengths, took their strengths away, and... Um, didn't turn it over and give away, uh, you know, easy baskets. So um, good win for the Nighthawks. As Coach Evans gets the crowd on their feet, a nice way to wrap up this weekend of basketball. On behalf of Lee Glenn and everyone with the Nighthawk Sports Network, I'm Craig Corbett saying again, your final score, North Georgia 83, Young Harris 67. Good night, everyone.